Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to talk about something I get asked about all the time. Is it possible to download a copy of Microsoft Access for free? I get asked this question at least once a week. Someone emails me or whatever and says they found a website or a video on YouTube that claims you can download a copy of Microsoft Access for free. And they give a whole bunch of instructions on how to do it. Now, let me start off by saying that there is no free version of Microsoft Access. Unlike some of the other Office apps like Word and Excel that do have free online versions, Access is not one of those. Now, you can get a free 30-day trial, and we'll talk about this a little bit later, but after that, you have to pay for it. Now, scammers and misleading tutorial authors claim you can get Microsoft Access for free. And if you've seen these videos or websites, you might think you've hit the jackpot. But unfortunately, most of these methods aren't just unethical, they're illegal. Just do a search for download Microsoft Access free and you'll find exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I'm not going to call out any video creators specifically, but you know who you are. Now, I've watched a few of these tutorials and some of them show how to use Microsoft's legitimate tools like the Office Deployment Tool or the Office Customization Tool to install Access or other Office applications. Now, these tools are designed for IT administrators in large corporations to deploy software legally across many, many computer systems. Now, these tools will sometimes bypass Microsoft's licensing system, allowing users to install unlicensed versions of Access. Yes, the process technically works for now, but Microsoft doesn't always require immediate activation during the installation process. This is to make it easier for admins to install, you know, 5,000 copies of Access, for example. But that still doesn't make it illegal. And what these scammers don't tell you is that this method is considered software piracy. So why shouldn't you do this? Well, installing the software without a valid license violates Microsoft's end user license agreement. It's software piracy, plain and simple. Even if Microsoft doesn't catch you right away, you're still breaking the law. And in cases of significant or repeated violations, Microsoft may pursue legal action against individuals or organizations using unlicensed software. There was one case a few years back where NorCal Moving Services paid a $75,000 fine for having more installations of Microsoft software than they had licenses for. So don't do it. These scammers claim that you're getting a completely free and genuine version. No, you're not. While the software itself might be genuine because it's downloaded from Microsoft, it's still unlicensed and unauthorized for use. Genuine software isn't just about where you get it from. It's about having a valid license. It can stop working. Microsoft regularly performs license checks. So if your installation fails, you could lose access to your files or get reduced functionality. You'll probably get an unlicensed product warning eventually, and it could lock your software. Don't forget about the security risks. Downloading files or following instructions from unknown sources can be risky. The configuration files or scripts they provide could be infected with malware. You want to trust scammers with your computer security? Well, I didn't think so. You're not going to get any updates or support. Unlicensed software won't download Office updates, leaving your computer vulnerable. And if you run into issues, Microsoft won't support you. And finally, not to mention, it's just wrong. Don't do it. Now, how do you get access legally? There's lots of ways. I prefer the Microsoft 365 subscription. It used to be Office 365 or whatever they're calling it today. For access, you need the business version. And depending on where you are and how you get it, it's between $8 and $12 a month. It's not expensive for what you're getting. You get Access, Word, Excel, all the other Office applications. It's a bargain as far as software goes for what Access does. Or if you don't like subscription services, a lot of people don't, you can buy a one-time license for Access by itself or for Office. It's a little more expensive up front, but you get a perpetual license, so you don't have to keep paying on a regular basis. It's yours forever, pretty much. You can get a free trial. Microsoft does offer a free 30-day trial for Office. It's a great way to test it out before committing. So if you're not sure if you want to use Access, you can do that. You can get a free trial. I've got a separate video that explains how to do this. I'll talk about it later at the end of the video and give you a link. If you're a student or you belong to a nonprofit or any other large organization, you may be able to get a discounted license to use at home. So talk to whoever is in charge of that and look into that. 
And finally, if you are in a big company and you don't want to buy copies of Access for everyone, you don't have to. Only the person who builds the database, the developer, needs a paid copy of Access. For everyone else, you can install the free Access runtime. So if you got 5,000 people that need to use your database, you only need one copy of Access. The rest can all be the runtime. I'm going to talk about this a little bit later too. Now, why should you pay for software? Again, Access is an incredible value for everything that it does. Running a business on it, managing projects, creating custom software solutions, all of that. Access offers capabilities far beyond what most software can provide. It's, it's super software. Y'all know me. I love Access. It can do pretty much anything. So for 8 to $12 a month, come on. It's a great value. And licensing your software legally gets you regular updates. You're protected from security vulnerabilities. You get reliable software. You get support if you need it. And here's a big one for me. Support the development of Access. Now, unlike Word or Excel, Access doesn't receive the same level of attention or resources from Microsoft. So by purchasing Access and paying for its development, you're directly supporting the Access team by showing Microsoft that Access is valuable to us as developers and users. If we buy Access and make our voices heard, Microsoft is more likely to allocate resources to the team ensuring ongoing updates, new features, and improvements for the software we love. Piracy, on the other hand, sends the wrong message and risks reducing the already limited support for access. Now, some people argue that big companies like Microsoft don't need their money because they make billions in profits, right? They're worth, what, $2 trillion now? But it's important to remember that those profits enable them to invest in innovation and pay their employees. Right? Without funding, the tools like Access wouldn't exist, let alone continue to evolve with new features and improvements. And they got people to pay too. So from software developers to customer support reps, the people working at Microsoft rely on their jobs to make a living. So by paying for software, you're supporting their livelihoods, not just the corporation's bottom line. And that argument could apply beyond Microsoft to any large company. Right? For example, stealing from Walmart or Amazon doesn't hurt the executives nearly as much as it undermines the thousands of employees at every level who need those jobs to survive. Even at Microsoft, there are little guys working behind the scenes, engineers, IT staff, office workers who deserve to be paid for their contributions. And as a side note, small software developers deserve your support too. I used to write shareware. I used to build databases and try to sell them. And I know firsthand how much work goes into creating software. So paying for the tools you use shows respect for those developers and it supports their ability to keep making great products. Many independent developers rely on income from their software to cover expenses. Even if the software is inexpensive, paying for it ensures that they can keep doing what they love. I always pay for shareware and any small tools that I use, and I hope you do too. Everything from screen capture programs to little file utilities I, if it's, you know, 20 bucks, great. Give the guy the 20 bucks. They, they need it more than the big companies do sometimes. I know there were many months that I paid my rent back in the day because I got a couple of registrations in and it meant a lot to me. Also, think about what you get in return. Paying for software isn't just about the morality, it's about value. Think of all the time and frustration you save by having tools like Access at your fingertips. You're not just buying a product, you're investing in your productivity and your peace of mind. Think of how tough it'd be if you had to go back to using a spreadsheet to run your business instead of having access, right? The real cost of piracy, often pirated software lacks updates, support, security, leaving you vulnerable to malware, data loss. Unlicensed software can result in legal consequences, fines, or the embarrassment of being caught. And of course, the broader impact. Widespread piracy discourages innovation and makes software development riskier for everyone. So don't listen to anyone who says they can get you a free copy of Microsoft Access. No, they're scamming you. Even if they're just doing it for YouTube views, they're still scamming you. They're exploiting tools meant for IT administrators to trick people into thinking they've found a legal loophole. Don't fall for it. If you see a video or a website claiming you can get Microsoft Access for free, report it and avoid it. I know I've reported a couple of them while I was researching this. It's not worth the risks, the legality issues, or the potential fines. And remember, by paying for your software, you're not just supporting the developers, you're ensuring you get a product that works as it should safely and legally. Now, here are some links to some other videos that I've got. 
that will help you out in this particular case. I'll put links to these down below in the description so you can just click on them. Access for free talks about how you can get access for free, both the free trial, free trial <laughs> and the runtime, which I've got a separate video that talks about the runtime as well. And again, the runtime allows you to buy one copy of Access for development purposes, and then everybody else in your business can use it for free with the runtime. Plus the extra benefit is it secures your database too, because if they only have the runtime, they can't do things like make changes to your database and mess it up. My buy access video goes over some of the confusion because Microsoft does have some confusing terms and you know, what's this covered and what's in the business standard professional. There's lots of different versions. That video goes over all the different ones. I mentioned earlier that some versions of Office are available for free online, Word and Excel, for example. This one here talks specifically about Excel, but it, it's the same for all the other free apps. Check that video out if you want a free copy of that. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't mention my free Access Beginner Level 1 video. It's four hours long. It teaches you all the basics, how to get started if you want to develop databases with Microsoft Access. So check it out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, and share it with others who need to hear this. Let's keep the internet safe and honest for everyone and get rid of software piracy. That's going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist and he not only offers access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't wanna to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, 
Level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.